hello viewers ah hello viewers i'm um, sisigisto today i would like to take you through how you can secure your email account so that it can be uh i can be protected away from hackers and from phishing uh phishing uh phishing is this where someone can pick your data from your email without your no uh, someone can send you a link someone can send you some information some link some documents some images how someone can take your office information from the system and the only way it can be protected is through you protecting your email account how can it be done this is very simple so i'm going to take you through today so that you can be able to secure everything uh step one you log into your account log into your gmail account uh, you click on your gmail account and you, and then you log in when it logs in uh, step two uh, go to your photo you can do with a photo if you don't have a photo you just click here you click here and now when it expands you go to manage your google account when you click on manage google account it will open to the next step uh, when it opens the next step uh, step three uh, when it opens the loading um, people this will help you to secure your account if i tell you you have never anybody eating your account please do so so that you can protect your email from hackers and uh, people who are fishing uh, uh, from your system they could be fishing out it could be your company information it could be your boss's information people find always that you can do uh, this protection as early as possible Uh, then it will give us this uh, it will give us this and then after step three click on security hope you can see this click on security when you click on security it will give up uh, it will give us this pop-up uh, window then after uh, click i've said click on security then after you scroll down uh, scroll down then you click on two step verification this is the layout we are going to add on our on our emails to be safe you click it on and then after you scroll down and they will say protect your account with uh, with two step verification uh, add an extra layer of security keep the bad guys out of your yeah, to access your information then you click yes get started when you click on get started uh, uh, they will ask for your password uh, then you type in the password uh, it will, let me type in my password and you hit enter then after that it will give you uh, it will give you the step it will tell you the uh, two step verification yes then after you can go through you use use your phone as your second sign in uh, here the, the the point is that whenever you log in they always require a code from your phone uh, they always they always require a, a code from your phone and what you should do is to uh, you choose your device that you use if you have a smartphone you choose your device then after here uh, you say try it now you click on try it now then after that they will say try getting a google prompt then google sent a, a prompt to uh, to the uh, samsung phone because that's my phone uh, this is the phone i do have here i will hope now you can see this here I'll try to access my Samsung phone and hope you can see this very clearly. Um, when you see this, uh, you just tap in just yes here. They're asking uh, on their phone here. They're asking uh, Windows NT10 uh, near Kampala, Uganda. Just time that now. I uh, hope you can see this clearly. You tap on yes. Yes, you want this to appear on your phone. You know, when I tap yes, uh they will tell me they will give me the uh information here try it again i have confirmed when you click yes uh when you click yes uh then they will send you how do you want to get codes then by text or by call you they can always call you to give you a a, a code or they can always text you codes i'll choose text codes then i'll click yes I'll click send code then I still I'll, I'll be able to receive the code on my phone again so that I can insert it in here when I insert it in here I'll click next again uh, let me check here the code 
people when this is done when they are uh, this is done to uh, this is already supposed to be done so that you can be able to protect your phone uh so to protect your phone even to protect your email this is why i was saying to protect your phone because your gmail account is already logged into your smartphone uh, when you do that then you'll be able to uh to uh, have more secure uh, secure uh, gmail account and you will not be attacked by any hacker because whenever someone tries to log into your account they they have to receive uh they have to receive uh they have to receive an account they have to receive a verification and uh, the verification on your phone again okay, we are saying here that google sent a, a verification code on uh, on your phone on this number uh, that's my number but uh, read me people be be secure conscious because always people always want to hack into people's information so that they can distribute out the information outside there and the only way you can do this uh, it's by protecting your phone i don't know that uh, you are able to see what was up here because i think my camera was positioned there but let me reposition it let me reposition the camera so that you can be able to see what i clicked on uh, as they are sending me the verification code uh, i said you click here then you go to manage your account i said after logging in uh log into your gmail account you click on uh, gmail you click on gmail uh, then after clicking on gmail it will open it when it opens up then you go to an option uh, you go to this photo then after you click on uh, manage your account when you click on manage your account then it will take us to uh, uh, to take us to this point then when this point you click on uh, security when you click on security then you scroll down scroll down then you click on uh, step two verification turn on then you click on it then after clicking on it scroll down you can pass through this add an extra layer of security keep the bad guys out of then you get started uh, when you click on get started yeah then it will go to the next step uh, i to, uh, to ask for the password of your gmail account type it in when you type it in you'll be able to access the second step uh, the second step uh, this second step then you'll be able to receive the uh, they will go, uh, they will be able to confirm where you send this code then you, s you choose your device if at all you have to you have to select one uh, so that they can confirm that when they confirm that then they will be able to send you a, a, a verification code uh, there is a delay in here mm, a verification code when they send a verification code you just click on next then you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to receive the you'll be able to make that two uh two two way uh verification code uh so that no one can hack into your phone the person who is supposed to log into your phone is the person who should always be with you uh the person who's supposed to log, uh, log into your email the person who has your phone uh the only way that person can be uh, able to log into the phone is to get the code because whenever you log into your account they always send you a code on your phone and with that code it's always one it's a once time login verification um thank you for watching uh this is musichisto any question any comment you'd like to leave behind you can leave it be uh, uh you can leave it below this video and we shall be able to uh, we shall be able to get in touch at uh, any time uh thank you for watching if i told you you want to follow me every day you can subscribe uh, below there you can leave a subscription then i'll be grateful i'll be supported by you through the subscription and watching my videos